Thursday, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Dr. Nick. Welcome to the podcast for She Comes First and Selfless Sex. Yeah, we're I'm inside today. It's Saturday. There are like heat warnings all up and down the East Coast. It's about a thousand degrees outside. Honestly, it's about 110 outside. So um, I'm not even thinking about going outside. So I just said, you know what? Stay inside, do a podcast about sex and call it a day. This podcast isn't really like so much fun like some of the other ones. This was kind of boring, but it's very important. And it involves food and testosterone levels. So this podcast is for the guys. And I really got to say that while many of us are are trying to be like more heart healthy and eating some better foods, healthier foods, some of those foods may not be the best for our sex life because the reality is some of them can actually decrease our level of testosterone. So you really wouldn't be careful about some of these foods that you're currently eating right now. So we're gonna talk about that today. So first, the first group of foods that I really wanna talk about are soy and soy-based products. And while the research is still kinda of off, or out rather, some say that it, it does have an effect, others say that it does not have an effect, I'll put the information out there and let you guys decide on, on what you want to eat. Granted, tofu, I mean, it's like soy and tofu and endame, some of those other foods are um, miso, are, they're, they're pretty good for you, I can't lie. You know, they're, they're low in fats and, you know, it may even give you some, some of the good fats, but um, they are also high in something called phytoestrogens. And pretty much what phytoestrogens do is that when they get into your body, they mimic estrogen. So there's there's that potential for your testosterone level to drop and your estrogen level to rise, which you really don't want to do. In the food in industry right now, they're using soy in many products that you don't even think about. It's actually in there and they use it as a filler to to help like bulk up the product because it's it's cheap. You know, so they're even in like trail mix bars and those um uh, cliff bars and things like that, things that are quote unquote healthy, just read the ingredients and you'll see soy. So I just have to put that out there. Read, start reading labels and you may want to avoid soy. Next, I have to mention dairy products, mainly milk, because it's pretty much well known that now that these, these milk producers are pumping these cows full of of synthetic hormones just to produce more milk. That's just how it goes. And yeah, they may filter them and pasteurize them, but I'm pretty sure that there's a strong chance that some of those hormones seep into the milk and then they get into you. And then they can, they have, they have, therefore they have the potential to decrease your level of testosterone. Add to the fact that much of the food or feed that cows eat is soy-based. So once again, they're ingesting the same soy that we probably would. And then it's also in, you know, you know, full of the phytoestrogens, just like I said before, and it's reacting the same way in their body as it would in yours. And thirdly, this is more of a financial thing, but check this out. You know, I'm sure you've seen those um, organic milks and they're, they're ultra pasteurized and ultra filtered. They're like, 450 to five dollars for a half gallon of milk yeah if you want to go that route i i gave it a shot i can only do a half gallon but i have a problem paying ten dollars for one gallon of milk so I'm, I'm just saying so you may want to watch your dairy intake when it comes to your testosterone level and third i'm going to mention processed food and I'm talking about like the, the, the frozen meals, you know, the frozen snacks and things like that. But I also want to include fast food because at the same time, fast food is typically, typically high in sodium, fat, calories, sugar, and other, other stuff. But it's also high in trans fats. And trans fats are the thing that really can affect your testosterone level. Really quickly, one, like, I'm quoting studies here, but one study found that guys who ate an awful lot of, of processed food, their testosterone level was about 15% lower when compared to guys that, that did not eat processed food. And secondly, sperm count. This study found that 
guys who ate a, a lot of processed food, their, their sperm count was actually around 40% lower when, it's, when compared to guys that did not eat processed food. So yeah, there's something going on with trans fats. So you really, really want to stay away from them. So a major source of, of trans fats is processed food. So in closing, I just wanted to mention just a few types of food and general food groups that you may want to avoid when it comes to your testosterone level. And then, oh, truth be told, the one I forgot to mention is alcohol. Because if you kind of overdo it on alcohol, that is related to erectile dysfunction. And I know, yes, this, this is called she comes first and, and everything else, but part of in, you know part sexual activity and quote unquote intercourse, um, having sex is, 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 is what this group is all about. And I don't want your diet to have a, such a, a negative impact on your sex life, you can't perform anymore. That's terrible. So at the same time, I, don't, I just want you guys just to sit and think about some of the things I said. Also, do your own research, okay? Just do a quick Google search on like some of the foods that lower testosterone. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Please try to stay cool outside because it's ridiculous. I'll talk to you soon.